One of the greatest and most monumentous occasions from Islamic history, from the life of the Prophet وسلم, is the Battle of Badr. The Battle of Badr was the greatest victory in the history of Islam and in the life of the Prophet Remarkable, miraculous, um, completely changed the scene and the dynamic of that time had announced the arrival of Islam and the Muslims, really put some of the enemies and the persecutors of the Muslims on notice. Just a remarkable event. And Alhamdulillah, um, earlier this year, I actually had the opportunity to be able to visit the place where Badr happened and stood there and reflected on, you know, just what an amazing and um, just, you know, earth shattering history-altering event it was. And as I stood there and I thought and reflected on all the remarkable aspects and the beautiful things that occurred at Badr, I was reminded of one particular thing. Because in Badr, I stood there at the well that the Muslims and the Prophet ﷺ had basically, they had set up their camp in such a way where a lot of the wells they, they were already abandoned and some of them they sealed up and then there was one big well that they basically camped around and kept the well in their camp. And that way the Muslims had access to water and when the army of the Quraysh arrived, they did not have access to water. And so I stood there at that well and I was thinking about this and what occurred to me, what I was reminded of, is that when the Prophet ﷺ and the Muslims first arrived at Badr, that was not where they had set up their camp. They had, they had set up their camp elsewhere. And a very, you know, common uh, companion of the Prophet ﷺ, and I want to preface by saying that no companion of the Prophet ﷺ is without virtue, of course, but within that community, he was not considered somebody very, you know, prominent uh, within that community, within the community of the Sahaba. But he was just a, a common person in that community. And he raises his hand and he speaks up. And he says, O Messenger of Allah, is this the revelation from God or this is just a strategy? And the Prophet ﷺ said, this is just one strategy. And that Sahabi, the companion of the Prophet his name is Hubab ibn al-Mundir. And his name doesn't really occur in too many other places in the life of the Prophet We're not talking about Abu Bakr or Umar or Uthman or Ali radiallahu anhum. And he says, well, I have, an, I have an idea, I have a strategy. And he gives this entire strategy of you seal up the wells and then you keep that one big well that has a lot of water, you keep it within your own camp and it gives you a very you know, pointed strategic advantage, etc, etc. And the Prophet ﷺ likes his suggestion, takes his suggestion and implements it. And that becomes one of the key points to what we know today as the Battle of Badr. The reason why I bring this up and the reason why I mention this is this is a profound and remarkable lesson in the leadership of the Prophet ﷺ, prophetic leadership. And there's so much for us to learn from this incident and hundreds of other incidents from the life of the Prophet ﷺ. And you know, in the Sira podcast, the Sira intensive, whenever I lecture and teach the Sira, I'm always, you know, there's always a few people who particularly key in on something. Usually they're brothers and sisters who have a specific background, you know, in the business world or in organizational development um, or even in their own kind of uh, contributions to their communities. And they'll always bring up the aspect that there are such deep, profound, remarkable lessons on leadership from the Prophet ﷺ. We need to gather them, we need to capitalize on them, we need to lay them out and define them and explain them for the community. And Alhamdulillah, I just wanted to share some uh, really good news and a great opportunity with everyone. On April the 30th, uh, which is a Saturday, 
here in Dallas uh, at the Western DFW, uh, Brother Omar Osman, who many of you know uh, from different projects uh, like Khati Workshop and uh, Fiqh of Social Media and many, many others, alhamdulillah. And Brother Muhammad Faris, who you know from uh, Productive Muslim uh, or Abu Productive as he goes by. Um, inshallah, they're teaming up to teach a really, really beneficial workshop um, called the Baraka Effect. And this will focus on prophetic leadership and productivity. So I wanted to recommend everyone to definitely check it out, inshallah. You'll find uh, the link uh, below, inshallah. So please definitely check out the workshop, sign up, register, come out here, take the workshop. Uh, I, I really, really recommend it for everyone, and I know that it's going to be a source of tremendous benefit, inshallah, to all the students and all the attendees. So once again, April the 30th, Baraka Effect, Prophetic Leadership and Productivity. Inshallah, check it out, and uh, hopefully, inshallah, I, I look forward to seeing everyone here. Jazakumullahu khairan. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.